Hello, good morning everyone. I am Prasoon Agrawal from EQ International Magazine and today I am here with Mr. Ritesh Puthan who is the Senior Vice President of Business Development at Scorpius Trackers. Hi Ritesh sir, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. So sir, we would like to begin this interview with a brief introduction about Scorpius Trackers and what products does it have to offer for the Indian solar market? Yeah, Scorpius Trackers is one of the leading tracker companies globally. We are the only company that has both block and row trackers and we are the best in class, you could say, world world leaders in quality in the tracking space. Uh, we are seeing generation in excess, I mean, we are seeing CUF of 32%. So our quality is absolutely top of the line. We are completely made in India, developed in India, R&D center at Pune. We have an excellent center at Pune with about 20 people doing pure play R&D in the electronic space, in the mechanical as well as in the electrical space. So we have the advantage of being a local player with a tremendous amount of prior experience in the automobile and mechanical industry. So our trackers are now, we've installed almost 250 megawatt. We are the largest tracker company in India uh, in, with installed capacity. And we are now, at this year, we're looking at between one to two gigawatts of installed, both in India as well as globally. We've launched in the North American, South American market, in Brazil, in uh, Mexico, as well as uh, we have plants already installed in Japan for the last one and a half, two years. We have them in Uganda and in Africa. We have them in uh, Middle East, Palestine. So our technology is absolutely proven across the globe. Something on the uh, on the technology of your specific uh, uh, tracker which you are using, and what are its advantages? What are uh, what has been how has been the performance of your trackers in the in the past few projects which you have uh, uh, installed? Right. So our trackers are uh, are generating rave reviews. Uh, the advantage of our trackers when you use is that we have zero maintenance. Our uh, tracker technology is such that you don't require maintenance for 25 years on the mechanical part of it. Our electronics are designed in house. They they are thermal cycle the quality is absolutely top of the line so we are set aside from the perspective that we are generating in some cases on average about 26 27 28 percent cuf at some of our plants so which are which translates to almost 20 lakh units a year 20 lakh units a year is what we are projected in some of in our plants in Karnataka. Uh, but because of degraded instability, we are looking at 19 lakh for those same plants. But the kind of value addition that we bring to the client in just a minor difference in cost, you are actually working out to be better and you are getting uniform and constant power rather than act rather than just pumping power into the grid blindly for two hours of the day which the discom can't use so the power that we are generating starts at around 6 6 30 in the morning when the, the moment the sun is up your power starts till the time the sun is down your power then goes away so you are actually able to run residential commercial industrial just on our trackers whereas if you were to do the standard fixed tail technology you would not be able to run it for like two three hours a day that's it um, another advantage that trackers bring to the table our trackers is the ability to use storage now if you take storage from that perspective uh, you would have longer and deeper cycles with the current old technology of fixed tilt whereas in our technology you would be able to deliver the same thing right you'll be able to pump power into the batteries or into the storage from six in the morning till the time the sun comes up till the time sun sets can you also share some figures in terms of money i mean what what sort of savings uh, you know say for a, a kilowatt project uh, has uh, with, with your tracker technology okay so that's a very interesting question i think it's good you ask that we are seeing lcoe now a lot of indians don't understand the background to lcoe but it is levelized cost across the life of the plant so if you were to do the same let i just took an example with a client just now we were doing uh, if we take just 19 lakhs a very uh, bare bone uh, number if you just take 19 lakh units and you take uh, 15 and a half 16 lakh units the lcoe with trackers is less than 3 rupees per unit that means the cost to the developer is less than 3 units per 3 uh, rupees per unit and the project irr the equity irr is crosses 20 percent but if you do the same thing with fixed yield and the pricing with the with the minor pricing difference that we have between trackers and uh, uh, fixed tilt you would get uh, lcoe of around three and a half rupees so that's 30 uh, sorry 3.3 rupees so that's 30 paisa more 
than the existing which you could get with trackers so there's a direct benefit so your pro, uh, equity irr with fixed yield would be almost 3 4% less project irr would drop by a couple of percentage points and the advantage we have is that we have zero nm so you're actually cleaning less cleaning less plants doing less uh, work on the plants hiring less labor so overall it becomes a very very uh, appealing and and absolutely amazing technology to deliver for your plant so that you can actually generate benefits till the life of the plant which we are happy to say our mechanicals are tested for 150 years so if the panels last we can last longer that's that's a very uh, you know uh, a long time for for our tracker to last actually uh, can you also share some uh, recent noteworthy projects which you must have installed and what has been the customer feedback on 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 those projects i think uh, the recent nr park project the quality head for nr park called us aside and he said that without your help it wouldn't be have been possible for to maintain the kind of quality that we had delivered so our clients are absolutely satisfied every client who we work with uh, we have been able to deliver quality we only our major focus is quality we do not compromise uh, if you see a lot of clients in the past have asked us to uh, match l1 but our focus on quality because we have done our boundary layer wind tunnel testing we have done uh, multiple uh, validations we are now black and beach certified uh, they've done bankability so we are the only only uh, company in india that has gone through the kind of rigorous validation and certification to ensure that we are delivering the best quality possible if you take a look at the uh, structure designs our structure designs are based on international standards not local standards the local is 875 with is 800 code does not generate torsion values and because it does not generate torsion values a lot of plants are putting up 25 tons 30 tons which actually break down under winds i'm quite sure you would have seen many many cases we have seen competitors or trackers that have worked at 40 kilometers per hour they have uh, the twisted the talk tube so there is a tremendous amount of uh, thought intelligence uh, experience and seasoned professionals that we are that we are bringing to the table so every client has been superlative in their praise of us that's all i can say and you can speak to our clients no problem anytime can you also share some uh, 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 reviews or you can say performance reports or certifications of your trackers uh, for your tracker company right so uh, like i said our trackers are boundary layer wind tunnel tested they're tested at a international facility there's that uh, such a kind of facility does not exist in india a normal wind tunnel is is is, is made in such a way that it is to determine the aerodynamism whereas a structure is more from the uh, structure with boundary layer wind tunnel study is more from the perspective how the structure will not fly off so they are actually at both opposite ends so the wind tunnel so you have wind tunnel in india but you don't have boundary layer wind tunnel so we've done us from cpp in the us which is one of the top this is like a 3 4 hour uh, Three four months, sorry, not three four hour. Three four month process where we go through rigorous, rigorous uh, inspection, validation. Uh, we do Reynolds number calculations. We do pressure coefficients. We have created. It's it's a complete, a complete quality check of making sure that our design stands up to the various criteria and various rigorous standards that we have set across the globe. We don't only design for India. we design globally so we are as per the american standards we uh, in fact the indian standards lack a certain amount of uh, compliances but we are far more compliant and we are uh, i'll give an example now if you see the is 875 with the is 800 standard the is 875 with 800 at a uh, 1100 pascals pressure wind pressure pressure coefficient it it prescribes 45 tons 45 to 47 tons in the total structure weight whereas we are with wind tunnel with only 700 pascals we are crossing 55 tons so that is the quality because we know that it will it will be able to withstand turbulent weather we know it will be able to withstand storms the others are all done just theoretically where you just some tick some it's like designing a car which will go 200 km per hour but never testing it at 200 km per hour 
So that is where the difference. So we have actually tested that. And this has been validated by Black & Beach, which was a six-month exercise. They rigorously ran through our entire process, technology, plant, site, and they have delivered an amazing report of the quality that we deliver. And every consultant we worked with has had been only superlative in praise for Scorpius. We have been seeing ever decreasing uh, tariffs in Indian solar market with, with each uh, next tender. So, how does that affect you? Does it change, does it put a difficulty in the acceptability of trackers uh, uh, in, 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 in utility scale projects? Yeah, so basically trackers actually are more viable. Even at 25 cents panel cost, if you really do the math, trackers are far more viable than fixed yield. And the advantage of trackers is that the discounts will be getting power from early morning till late evening. So that is something that holistically is taken into account. And all the leading players are now working with us. All the guys who have quoted the lowest are now looking forward to trackers because without trackers, you are unable to meet the kind of numbers that you're looking at. It's only possible with the kind of tracking technology that we have and the absolutely easy to install, easy to assemble, deliver on time. So it's like a, a simple Lego set. You put it plug it together and we are up and running. So it's absolutely the easiest to do it done. And all the developers are now with us. And with the panel price hike, it has become actually, they have actually more focused on trackers than they were before. One of the most hot topic in the Indian solar industry in the recent months have been the uh, anti-dumping petition which has been filed recently. So what's your view on that? I think anti-dumping is a definitely a step in the right direction. US has had anti-dumping against China for the last four years. Uh, if you see Turkey has put in anti-dumping, Europe has had it for the last five years. And it is goes without saying that the Chinese are at taking a tremendous amount of advantage that the local markets don't have. And what it is doing, it is killing local jobs, it is killing local R&D, it is killing the local industry tomorrow what happens is that we have become so dependent on a country who can just give us anything that they want and we will have to just and how are we going to meet the prime minister's target of 100 gigawatt if we are going to import everything what is the quality at the end of the day it is all not only about energy security is also about the national security it's about creating next the next generation need to have jobs the next generation needs to have something to look forward to otherwise they'll all be working in china and right now with all the controversy about what you eat in china you're going to be eating that only so all right Ziteji, we'll put an end to this interview right here thank you so much for your time and this opportunity thank you so much it's been a pleasure thank you very much for your